Konnichiwa. I wonder how you're listening to Japanese so you can speak and finally dream in Japanese. Nihongo, issho ni hanashimashou ka? Is this your goal for learning Japanese? One of the best ways is to listen to podcasts on your way to and from school. And the best one I know is Japanese podcast for beginners, Nihongo Kon Teppe. Itsumo ouen suru podcast. Kyo wa genki desu ka? Ni tsuite. Minasan. こんにちは。日本語コンテペです。日本語学習者の皆さんをいつも応援する。This man lives in Japan, is Japanese, and has a marvelous way of telling the same thing over and over. So it just gets into your subconscious. And during the day after listening to it, you realize that you are thinking and remembering what he said because he just said a short thing. Look how tiny it is. Only three or four minutes of Japanese listening once or twice a day. He's made many podcasts and I suggest you listen to him. He's for you. Now, if you're a bit higher level and you might be in year 11 or 12, then this one for intermediate Japanese would be better for you. All right. Or... If you were in year 12 and terribly, terribly good, then you might listen to something like the Japanese SBS podcast, which is a podcast but also on the internet. And I have a video on my, of a, an interview that I've made on there. So you might like to search for that. It's in the music section. All right.、Um, the, Other thing is by watching things online. Now, I know you might watch TikTok or Instagram or YouTube all the time, but are you watching Risa on Japanese Pod 101? She's very watchful and her lessons start from the very beginning of learning Japanese and go all the way through. This might be something that you watch once a day as well. And this second last one is signing up to Tofugu. Which is a Japanese、um, learning website. They also have a podcast, which is probably a bit too high level because they speak in English a lot. But、um, they have plenty of learning to read and write katakana and hiragana for year sevens and nines. And just really interesting, fun games. And here's just something where you can practice your hiragana, which would be great if you're in year seven. And for my Primary school students and into year seven and eight, you might be interested in watching something called Life Where I'm From Japan, where a Japanese young family t a l k about living in Japan and how interesting that can be. Okay, Gambatte, please at least sign up to one of these podcasts to listen to each day so your Japanese can get better and better. Gambatte, issho ni gambari mashou. Sayonara.